On this occasion, we would like to inform the people who are reading this story about a program related to Tamil Nadu historical research. There is a village named Anbal in Tirukirappalli district Lalgudi Taluk. The vernaculars have translated this as Premapuri. This chapter was written in 1951, about 45 years ago today in this village of Elalar dug the foundations of his old house to demolish and rebuild it. Then a wonderful object was brought out from under the earth. A number of copper plates were pierced at the tip and fastened with a ring. Something was engraved on the plates. For some time he held those plates, which were too heavy for two men to lift. Then Sri RSL came to renovate the village temple and do the repair work. He gave the plates to Lakshmana Chetiar. Sri Lakshmana Chetiar assumed that the tablets might contain historical details and took them and gave them to Mahamahopathaya Swaminatha Iyer. Iyer who was engaged in Silasasana research at that time, saw that the egg pads contained very important details. Gopinatha Rao, M.A. He added the plates to N-bar. When Sri Gopinathra o saw the plates he was delighted as if he had found a great treasure. Because such important details about the dynasty of the Chola kings were carved in the egg pads. Suspecting that there might be historical details in those tablets, he took them and gave them to Mahamahopathaya Swaminatha Iyer. Iyer, who was engaged in Silasasana research at that time, saw that the egg pads contained very important details. Gopinatha Rao, M.A. He added the plates to N-bar. When Sri Gopinatha Rao saw the plates he was delighted as if he had found a great treasure. Because such important details about the dynasty of the Chola kings were carved in the egg pads, Suspecting that there might be historical details in those tablets, he took them and gave them to Mahamahopathaya Swaminatha Iyer. Iyer, who was engaged in Silasasana research at that time, saw that the egg pads contained very important details. Gopinatha Rao, M.A. He added the plates to N-bar. When Sri Gopinatha Rao saw the plates he was delighted as if he had found a great treasure. Because such important details about the dynasty of the Chola kings were carved in the egg pads. He added the plates to N-bar. When Sri Gopinatha o saw the plates he was delighted as if he had found a great treasure. Because such important details about the dynasty of the Chola kings were carved in the egg pads. He added the plates to N-bar. When Sri Gopinatha o saw the plates he was delighted as if he had found a great treasure. Because such important details about the dynasty of the Chola kings were carved in the egg pads. Inscribed on the plates were the details of the Batavili land charter given to Sundar Chola emperors Minya minister Enbal Aniruthapramarayar in the fourth year of his accession. Madhava Batar, who wrote this land charter, mentioned the Chola lineage up to Sundara Chola. He also mentioned the Vaishnava lineage of Aniruttap Brahmaraya and wrote about the service rendered by his father, mother, Patanar, and Kalapatanar in the temple of Sriranganathar. What was found in the Anpal Septs was mostly similar to the Chola origin given in the Anamangala Septs and Tiruvalangatuch Sepeds found before this. Therefore, it is valid that what was found in those books are historical facts. Therefore, we request you to continue reading the above story keeping in mind that Anuradha Brahmarayar is a Chola Empire minister who is famous in history. All were Kadi and entered the hall where Mani Yamath and Mantri Aniruthap Brahmarayar was sitting. He went around him three times. He fell prostrate and bowed down. Om Hram Hrim Vashto four times in a loud voice, he said, Give me a reply, Lord. Anuradha smiled and said, Tirumala. What are you doing? Why are you asking me for an answer? Said. I am going to offer the Srivishn of a tradition that Dasan suffered, the name as Varkadayan and the privilege of giving them hands on this Magadal and leave it together with Vira Siva Kala Muga Sampradaya. Taking a skull in my hand and chanting the great mantra Om Hram Hrim Vasatu I will go to town. With a Jatamakudam on my head. I will also grow a long beard on my face and with this stick I will smash the skulls of all the opposing Srivishnavas. Father! Stop! Stop! Is that fate even for my skull? Guru! Are you still suffering from Srivishnava practice? Tirumala! What do you doubt about that? Who do you think I am? 
Who are you? I have doubts about that. Are you the great grandfather of Anand Alwar Swami, whose life was devoted to serving Sri Ranganatha, who knows in the middle of two rivers and protects all the planets? Yes, father. I am. Are you also the successors of Aniratha Bhattacharya who spread the glory of Sriman Narayana name to all four countries? Yes, it's me. They gave me the name of that great man too. Aren't you the Sakshad Simantha sons of Narayana Bhattacharya, who used to enthrall crores of devotees by singing the worshipful Madura songs of the Ash Wars? Yes father, yes. Aren't you the son of Manga Iyarjaluk? who used to light the lamp every day in Sri Ranganatha Palakandas Panarangak temple and give alms to the pilgrims on a silver plate. No doubt. Then do my eyes deceive me? Is what I see before my eyes a lie? What I hear with my two ears is a lie. What do you say, father? What has happened to make you doubt your eyes and ears? I have heard that you went to the Shiva temple in this village and conducted all the Abhishekham, Arkan. That's true, your ears haven't spoiled you. It is true that my eyes see that there are signs of their visits to the temple of Shiva. That's true too. Isn't it Gurudeva himself who taught me that Sriman Narayan is the deity in this Kali Yuga, the Bajaras of the Alvars are the Vedas, and Harinama Sankirtana is the way to attain moksha? Yes, so what? If Gurudeva himself says one thing and does one thing, what can I, a disciple, do? Tirumalai. Are you telling me about my visit to the Shiva temple? O oh Guru! Which god did you see there? What is the doubt? Narayana Murthy. Haven't I heard that there is a linga inside the Rameswara temple? That's why the heroic Siva Patmars here surrounded me and shouted so much. Boy! Are you the servant of our Sadakabar who incarnated in Thirunagari? What doubt about that? Remember the blessing of our Lord. If you have forgotten, I will remind you, listen. Was it wrong for me to visit Narayana in Shivalinga when Sadagopa had achieved this? A.G.A. O Sade Kobar's grace. Vow. Look at the worshippers of the Lingam with the Jains and the Sakyas. Father. You never know when your wit will leave you. Listen to what our Sadagobar has also said. The one who is there is Sri Narayana Murthy. Listen more, Tirumala. Listen and clear your mind. Did you hear, Tirumala Mukhanapa? That's what our Sadagobar called and prayed to come on his head. You are objecting to me going to the Shiva temple. Gurudev. I want to forgive, I want to forgive the abuse. I wasted my time in vain fights because I didn't know all the Pasuras of Namalvar. I doubted myself. Now please grant me a boon. If you say you want a gift, you can think about giving it. I want to go to Thirukurakar and stay there. I want to collect all the thousand songs of our Sadagobar and then go from town to town and chant those songs. Why did you get this desire? On the way from Vadavan Kadam, I sang some Alvar Pasurams at Viranarayana Purimal Sunadi. A great man named Esvarapada who was performing handiwork in that sunnity, burst into tears of joy. Isvara Bhattar is a great devotee, a good disciple. One of his young sons was also standing near him listening. The pale face of the young Balagan lit up like a full moon listening to the Alvar Pasuram. Do you know the other songs? asked the little boy with a mouth that still smelled of milk. I was ashamed to say I don't know. It was then that I thought why not sacrifice this dog to the charity of Alwars. Today that idea has been confirmed. Tirumalai, hasn't the Gitacharya blessed us to observe Swadharma? Yes, Master. Mahans will incarnate to collect and spread the hymns of the Asvars. Similarly, Avatar Murthys will be born in this country who can prove the essence of Vedic philosophy in the songs of the Asvars and spread across the Bharata continent through the vernacular. You and I have the service of the kingdom as our Swadharma. Do you forget that we have vowed to dedicate our body, material, and spirit in the service of the Chola Emperor? I have not forgotten, Master. But the doubt of its usefulness is gnawing at me. Especially when I hear them talk about themselves in some places. What are they talking about? 
Some say that they abandoned the Vaishnava tradition because the emperor gave them a Tenvili land grant and wrote it on the sepet. They also say that they set sail in disregard of caste dharma. Never mind what those envious people say. They think our caste must be well frogs. It is true that the emperor has given me a grant of ten fences of land. He has also written it on a piece of silver. But do you not know that I became a minister to the emperor four years before that? All Workadian was silent. I then vowed to help him in the administration of the kingdom. I am still fulfilling that promise. Don't you know all this, Thirumalai? Samba Ndar has sung that, could he have written that Matadam without seeing it? Some of the well frog scholars say that he wrote Matadam from this Rameswaram island. Don't pay attention to what such people say. Swami. Did you go to that place to enjoy the natural resources of Matadam? No, I told you about that too because I intended to send you there. I went to see Prince Arulmas Hivarmar. Have you seen the prince, Gurudeva? All Workadian asked. There was just a hint of interest and excitement in his speech. A.G.A. Are you not too eager to know about the prince? Yes, Tirumala. I have seen the prince, I have spoken to him. I have seen for myself how far the wonderful reports coming from Sri Lanka are true. Listen, father. King Mahinda of Sri Lanka had a great army. That army is no more. No. Do you know what happened? It melted and disappeared like snow that saw the sun. Mahindan's army included many warriors from the Pandya and Chera countries. They all laid down their arms when they learned that our prince was at the head of the army. They all joined our party as one. Mahindan how can he fight? He is gone. He is hiding in the mountainous country of Rahana. So there are no enemies for our army to fight. Then, Gurudeva. Must the prince return with our Chinam? And stay there? Why all the fuss about sending grain to our soldiers? We can return by saying that there are no enemies. But the prince does not like it. I also do not agree to it. When the prince and Saniam come this way, Mahinda will come out of the hill country. What is the use of starting the war again as before? We want the king and the people of Sri Lanka to be our friends. Or the rule of the tiger flag will be there forever. The prince is involved in both these efforts. Do you know what our soldiers are doing in Sri Lanka now? The city of Anuradhapura itself was destroyed in the old wars. The ancient Buddhist viharas, temples, or bearing towers are lying in ruins. Now, on the orders of the prince, our soldiers are clearing the ruined buildings. They are renovating. That's beautiful. Perhaps the prince will give up both Saivism and Vaishnavism and join the Sakya religion, or what? Would you approve of that as well? Did you hear some business leaders and captains of the Air Force were talking a while ago? Have you seen how generous our traders, money-minded, become to the prince? Have you seen how the warriors compete to fight under him? A few days ago I saw an ascetic on the summit of Potakaimalai, he is a saint with wise eyes. Do you know what he said? When an elephant has a season, a cat has a season. Now the time has come for southern development. For a long time, great emperors, heroic warriors, sages and great poets were incarnated in the northern part of the land of India. But the north is going to be eclipsed soon. A great barbarian caste will come from beyond the Himalayas and destroy the north. They will break temples and idols. Sanatana Dharma will also undergo Parabhata. Then the South will save our religion, scriptures, temples, and worship. Warrior emperors will appear in this land and rule in all four directions. Great sages, Pandathatamas, and Bhakta Siromani will incarnate in this land. That is how Malashiva Yogi blessed that package. Now I have faith that the Yogi's prophecy will come true, Tirumala. Tenadu is going to save all of them. Warrior emperors will appear in this land and rule in all four directions. Great sages, Pandathatamas, and Bhakta Siromani will incarnate in this land. That is how Malashiva Yogi blessed that package. Now I have faith that the Yogi's prophecy will come true, Tirumala. Tenadu is going to save all of them. 
warrior emperors will appear in this land and rule in all four directions. Great sages, Pandathatamas, and Bhakta Siromani will incarnate in this land. That is how Malashiva Yogi blessed that package. Now I have faith that the Yogi's prophecy will come true, Tirumala. Swami. You are building some celestial fortresses. But there they are trying to destroy the very foundation of the kingdom, Gurudeva. If you had seen what I saw and heard what I heard, you would not have been so happy. You would have been terrified of the danger that this Chola empire would face. Tirumala, yes, I have forgotten. Overexcitement has clouded my knowledge. I have yet to hear the news you have learned on your journey. Tell me, I hear you. Tell me, no matter how terrible the news. Swami, do you order me to tell you here? Lord Vayu trembles when he hears the news I have brought, King Samadra stops when he hears it, birds lose their power of flight and curl up when he hears it, even Akashavani and Goddess Bhoma scream. Do you order me to tell such news publicly here? All Workadians said. Come, then. There is an underground cavern on this island, impenetrable by wind and cold. Come there and tell me in detail. Said Anirudhap Brahmarayar.